Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good and be safe. So the thing about biology is it's easy to understand. But the toughest thing in it is to retain that much amount of info in those three hours of exam. So uh, I'll be talking about few ways in which you can retain all the information and I hope you would like these and help you too. So without any further ado, let's get started with the videos. So the first thing is about spaced repetition and active recall. Many of you would be familiar with these terms because it's very famous these days. For those who are not, spaced repetition is a technique that you revise a particular set of info in systematic time intervals. For example, you revise the chapter on first day, then after two days you'll revise it again. Similarly, two three din ke interval pe aap ek chapter ko kafi bar revise karenge till the time you retain the most amount amount of information from that chapter. Active re recall is something that we have actually experienced in our lower classes like 5, 6 when we were uh, given fill in the blanks and one word for the definition. Now, uh, for example, uh, if I say, uh, tell me about emphysema, many people would say, yeah, it's a chronic disorder of alveolar walls. But now in question paper, I gave you chronic disorder of alveolar walls. For some, it might be tough to remember that word emphysema. Ma many might remember bronchitis. So that's just a way of seeing a particular information so active recall helps in that and also it really helps to engrave something in your mind why is space repetition so important uh, now on your screen you must be seeing a forgetting curve now if you see uh, on the y-axis that's the retention part and from the first revision the retention part falls so steeply and till the sixth day you remember only 25 percent so if you revise consecutively you'll see that retention slope uh, nearly becomes to constant. That means now in your memory, you have retained the maximum am amount of information. So that's why it's important uh, to revise uh, things, especially in biology and organic chemistry, where you have such great amount of factual information that you have to keep in your mind. So the thing about spaced repetition is, many students are comfortable with revising NCRT every two to three days, but some students find it very monotonous to just read it and retain the things. They like to question practice and they retain all the terms by question practice. Now the main problem is where to find a strictly NCRT based question map. Many students say you can make questions yourself. Don't you think that would be such a hell amount of work to make the questions and then revise them and do everything? Try to find a strictly NCRT based question map. In that case, I would like to recommend you about memory. So first of all, uh, it's a very creative and has an interactive interface that will surely increase your study time period. As we all know, uh, seeing those colors and creativeness will actually uh, just, it will increase your curiosity to study. And the greatest thing about Memonite is it has a strictly NCRT based line to line question bank. Questions are made from every line and they have more than 15,000 plus questions. For each chapter, you can select a particular topic that you want to attempt. And also they've got a PYQ section uh, otherwise also. You can uh, do all of them. And first of all, when you do the questions that are given in the flashcard form. So while attempting the questions, all the questions that you got wrong or uh, right, that will get saved in the temporary memory. Now to move it ahead from the temporary memory is that short term memory, encoding stage. You have to get it right a couple of times. And uh, the best thing about it is that uh, they will uh, uh, ring a notification on your phone when to revise it. For example, I did at least uh, 10 to 15 questions two days before and today the notification was on my phone to revise them again. And when I get uh, it uh, right a couple of times, the flashcards that I got wrong, when I get them uh, right a couple of times, then only they will move forward to repeating short memory and consecutively arriving long term, retaining long term and permanent storage. Now uh, that's so creative that you get to know that which information is in permanent storage and which information is that you have to literally do more. Uh, isn't that uh, such like a filtering kind of app that will let you know ki kaun si line hai jo tum kabhi bhi nahi aada hai jo tum baba galat kar rahe ho and kaun si line hai jo tumko bhi aur karni hai aur zyada karni hai and kaun si line hai jo tumhari ho chuki hai us pe tumko utna bhi mehnat nahi karna pad raha hai. I think you can surely go for this question bank. Also, they charge Rs. 1,399 for a one-year subscription, but you can co uh, use my code TANISHA50 to get 50% uh, off and you'll get it at 750 rupees. I hope you will like it. The second way is thread notes. 
Now there are many students that can just revise NCERT and they don't need much question practice. Like personally, I also didn't need that much question practice. I used to revise a chapter a lot and in the test, I used to make a question from the test. Ban jate the. So, but the main problem is some students uh, are okay with revising that uh, paragraph form of NCRT and it takes them less time. But for some students, revising in that paragraph form is very time taking. For example, it took me around one hour to revise a chapter from uh, NCRT. And also in that, I didn't get full satisfaction of revising everything. In that case, you need some uh, good notes that will just give 100% uh, information of NCRT, like literally NCRT in just a different form. That is flowcharts, tables, and columns, diagrams, and everything. Now, uh, these kind of notes are actually time taking to make because you have to inc incorporate each and every line of NCRT. I have made these kind of notes for every chapter in biology and also in organic chemistry. You can surely check them in out. These are available on my Telegram channel. Link will be in the description box below. Also, you can check out my video on NCRT thread notes. That means that I NCRT ko alag karke diya hai maine. So you can check uh, the video out to know how to use them and what particular points you have to keep in mind while revising them. So yeah, please check them in, uh, check them out if uh, you feel you need NCRT just in a different form to revise it much faster and in a better way. Next is audio notes. Now, as we all know, uh, more than reading, the visual and audio perception of, of brain is very good. If you have something to show something to listen, you'll retain it much, uh, for a much longer time. Now, audio notes are something uh, that you can make for fast revision of some points. For example, in the chapter Morphology of Flowering Plants, there are so many examples. What you can do is, you can uh, make an audio of the examples. For example, um, flora, uh, families, ke jitne bhi examples, and just say it out in an audio and save it for a particular chapter. In each chapter, you can record the lines and examples that you easily tend to forget. And every day for two, three chapters, Listen to those audio notes. For example, in the night time, especially uh, while sleeping, just listen to these uh, carefully. No, you will remember these things slowly. Slowly, they will remain So, I think audio notes is a very good way. You can make for every chapter. Just include the lines and examples that you easily forget. The whole chapter is included. Only lines or words that you forget. And if you want to make um, like fast, uh, short revision audio notes. You can uh, say the lines, the important lines of the chapter in 15 to 20 minutes audio and uh, you can just listen to it while walking. I think that's a very creative and unique way to revise things. So the next thing is about sticky notes and charts. Just like audio notes that are audio form of revision, sticky notes and charts are visual form of revision. Uh, try to use colorful charts and colorful sticky notes because it's just pleasing to mind and sometimes what happens is that you have line that you remember color ke sticky note pe wo thi. that actually happens so what I did personally was ki for every unit like human physiology, plant physiology the lines that I used to forget, the examples that I used to forget I wrote them down on a sticky note and I stick that on Almira, my study table and my walls which I have uh, now taken down because uh, obviously NEET is over but you can check uh, the short on my channel in which I have shown my room during NEET preparation I'll uh, give the link in the description box so I did that and I think uh, every day I revised a, a particular unit for like human physiology I revised all the lines that I used to forget and for plant physiology the next day I revised all the lines similarly it just took me 30 to 40 minutes to revise all the lines for a particular unit so yeah, I just uh, kind of accumulated the lines at one place and sometimes it's very like boring to read the books. So sticking those on the Almira and walls was fun for me, I can say. And I use that. You can also try uh, to use them. And I have made, ma uh, made the sticky notes uh, detailed video. You can check that out and know the more about it, how I use them, how I made them and the alternatives. For example, if you don't uh, have that, um, you know, permission from parents to stick it on walls in an Almira and if you have an iPad, then you can uh, make digital sticky notes or uh, you can keep the sticky notes in your book only. Just check out the video for more detailed description on that. Last but not the least are the group discussions. Now I think so, sabke saath ye possible nahi hota. But non-attending students can surely grab their coaching friends. And uh, for the students that are going to school, you can grab your friends group. 
इफ दे आर ओरिएंटेड टूवर्ड स्टडीज अदरवाइज पता लगा कि ग्रुप डिस्कशन करने आए हैं चल कुछ और रहे हैं सो इफ दे आर ओरिएंटेड टूवर्ड स्टडीज एंड सो आई यू यू कैन गैदर ऑल यू कैन ऑल गैदर यू कैन आई डू गूगल मीट इफ यू वॉन्ट इफ यू आर फार अवे एंड इफ यू कैन मीट इन अ लाइब्रेरी दैट फेस टू फेस इंट्रैक्शन इज मच बेटर ऑब्वियसली बट गूगल मीट इज ऑल्सो फाइन यू कैन ऑर्गेनाइज डेज लाइक रिविजन संडेज and in that day you can choose one student कि तुम ये chapter करके आना and you'll just say all the important points जो सब बैठ के सुनेंगे in that way the student that has prepared the chapter obviously will do some work in revising it and जो student आपको जो बात कह रहा है वो आप सुनोगे आपको भी याद होगी देर इज अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी लाइक वेन आई वॉज इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ मेरी ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बहुत खराब थी बट आई हैड अ फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप अ वेरी 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 गुड फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज कि मैंने ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री के क्वेश्चन उन लोगों के साथ लगाना स्टार्ट किए एंड एवरी डे हम लोग अराउंड नाइन्टी टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन बना जाते थे क्लास में बैठ के एंड इतना हंसी मजाक के साथ बनाते थे कि पता भी नहीं लगता था कब चीजें याद हो गई एंड इन माई कोचिंग टेस्ट आई सिक्योर सेकेंड प्लेस सेकेंड हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी बेनिफिशियल ओनली इफ यूर फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप इज ओरिएंटेड टॉवर स्टडीज डू सी दैट बट क्या इफ यू हैव दिस यू कैन से एडवांटेज ऑफ अ फ्रेंड ग्रुप लाइक दिस श्योरली यूज इट सो यप दैट वॉज इट फॉर द वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक द वेज एंड दिल रियली बिकम हेल्पफुल टू यू इन द न्यू फ्यूचर बिकॉज आई नो बायोलॉजी इज हार्ड टू रिटेन ऑल द टाइम बट वेन यू कैन फिल्टर आउट द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन सी आर टी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑडियो नोट स्टिकी नोट्स थ्रेड नोट्स एवरीथिंग आई एम श्योर यू कैन डू इट सो जस्ट ट्राई वंस सी वट सूट्स यू एंड देन मूव फॉरवर्ड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग